Hi, this is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video and I thought I would do it from my car in the parking lot. So I'm waiting for my wife and kids I had to get done with bowling. I'm going to do the verse from 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 10 and the Word of God reads this way. For his letters say they are weighty and powerful but his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. Now in the 10th chapter of 2 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul felt it necessary to actually defend his authority of him being an apostle. There were false apostles coming into the church of um, Corinth and they were basically saying they represented God and they were actually speaking against the Apostle Paul, though Apostle Paul was a true apostle. And in this particular verse, in this chapter, verse 10, it says, For his letters, and these are the epistles that Paul wrote, they say are weighty and powerful. So the people in the Corinthian church actually would think, wow, his epistles, his letters are weighty. Which means, um, when you think of weighty, it means it has strength and powerful which means it has like dynamite ability to affect your life. So they were actually admitting that, that his epistles had weight and power. But then the next part of the verse says, but his bodily presence, and that's the way he looks, is weak. Basically they were saying when they saw the Apostle Paul in person, he wasn't anyone desirable to look at. He probably didn't look strong, he probably wasn't handsome, and he probably looked even fragile. He looked weak. And it says, and his speech contemptible. And when it says contemptible, it means his speech of, was of no account. It didn't mean anything. Perhaps he didn't even speak clearly or he didn't speak well. So the bottom line, they thought that he had powerful letters, but when they saw Paul in person, they didn't think he was much of anything. Dear Christian, I could completely relate to this, and I'm, and perhaps you can too. In your Christian walk, people are going to look at you and not think much of you. Maybe they're going to think that you have a weak presence. Maybe they're going to think the things that you say have no power. But you know where the power comes from? It comes from the Word of God and the indwelling Holy Spirit. That's why it says his letters are weighty and powerful because Paul's letters had everything to do with being God-breathed, being inspired by the Holy Spirit. It was actually God's words, though Paul was writing it. And that's why it had weight and it had power. But Paul himself was nothing to look at. He probably couldn't speak as well as other people. And when he did speak, it probably seemed like it was of, of no account, that it was, wasn't anything. But Christian knows something. Your strength and ability and your worth doesn't come from what the world says. They can look at you and think that you can't speak correctly. They can look at you and think your appearance doesn't amount to anything. But your worth, your power, and your authority comes from God's Word. So, this is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 10. Just wanted to do a quick look to encourage you that many times you can write things down and it has everything to do with the Word of God and it has power. I know many times I write comments in the comment sections and I get a lot of um, encouraging words about what I wrote. They like the verses I used and they think that you know I'm very knowledgeable about the Word of God. But then you can watch my videos and see my appearance and see how I'm tongue-tied and I mess up my words and think is this the same person that put comments in the comment section? Well yeah because in and of myself, I am nothing special. It is God in me that is special, and it's God's Word that is special. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and edified you in any way, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet, and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please do not be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do. And until we do another quick look, remember this, Christian. Your worth, your ability, your strength comes from God and His Word. Don't care if the world looks at you and think 
oh, I'm not next to anything or I, I'm not, you know, you're next to nothing, so to speak. They're going to think that. The world has a different way of looking at us. And the worldly way of looking at people is fleeting and it's not lasting. And, and guess what? It can be very insulting. But you know what? As long as you have the indwelling Holy Spirit, as long as you have the truth of God's word, what you have to say and what you represent is weighty and powerful. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And God bless.